Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, so I believe the last item was this of discussion was this Township Road 9-4. I'm not sure, were we in or out on that? We did not in for capital eight miles. Never got that far. Are we in or are we out for, for eight miles? Eight miles would be, what is that, 1,056,000 um, based on that budget number that's in here? And that's MSI project. Yes. So does that include the, is the MSI paid for the shoulder bolts, the shoulder voltage, or the reconditioning? So all of the remaining reconditioning program is MSI funded. All of the remaining. <laughs> MSI at shoulder pull or the reconditioning work is MSI funding, which would be about 40 miles a year is what we're projecting. Okay. Corey. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Um, I, I think I'm just speaking for myself. I'm still where I was the other day. I, I would like to see this. I uh, it's identified it on the list. Um, but for, for this year, I would like to, to see us not endeavor to calcium base uh, stabilize that road. I think we have the opportunity to uh, monitor, for, monitor it for a year, um, at the same time engage the city um, and any other, any other partners that uh, we might be able to entice into uh, participating with us on that project. And um, I, like I said the other day, I just think it's an opportunity for us to focus our calcium uh, based stabilization efforts on maintenance for a year and uh, and move forward as Rick had suggested with a, a maybe a higher uh, maintenance level on that road for the coming year. Bob? Uh, if the city does come through with some funding, I sure would push to put it and make it go through this year because it is a, a road that does need fixing because it's just too well used. <clears throat> Any other comments? Morris. <clears throat> yeah, I, you, you know, I hear Bob and I hear Tori down there, you know, like or whatever. And, uh, and uh, the thing is, you know, the majority of that traffic down there is not far from Highway 3, 40, 45. So I think uh, we can get by for one year and look at the whole situation as, uh, for the next uh, for next year, you know, like we're seeing what the city, uh, if are they willing to do something? And the other one is, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe they even would come across, you know, because they chose to be there and they have the responsibility of their customers being able to get in a good manner at, at their, at the processing plant, so maybe they even would come across. Who knows? But the thing is, yeah, I maybe would like to see you do personally hold on for the for the one year and see how things are gonna go. Bob? But if but if we do get some funding in there and if it's set to go and you have to use it this year, I'm sure we go for it then. Because yeah, that's, that's that's you know funding counts. That would make a difference, yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm still with the same thing. Um, we have, we're just Cavendish, you don't know which roads are coming in and stuff like that. A lot of it changes. So, and I'm not, I'd rather see how much the maintenance, the maintenance is going to be for um, all the roads that are done. I'm still good with de deferring it for another year or so. I know the maintenance costs will be higher, but the, you know the numbers weren't too extraordinary. They're a little more than double the average road. So, yeah, for me, I'm just good with deferring it for another year or so. Yeah, I'm, I'm under the same agreement. I think if we knew a little more about it, we would be able to move ahead. 
but I think it'll, it's going to take probably till if Cavendish opens and if the traffic comes there, it'll probably take a year to get an agreement with the city anyways yeah. or whoever. So that would be my thoughts on it. Leave it out for this year. Yeah. But can I take a month that you can talk? Okay. I wasn't thinking Cavendish at all when I brought this road out there. Cavendish wasn't even on my mind. It was just because the road was just well used and people from the gold hill are even bringing the dumps. All the dump stuff comes up that road and goes up to company road. So that's why I brought it up. Cavendish wasn't on my mind. Any other comments? So uh, I'm, from what I'm hearing from everybody, it's, it's going to be put on to next year's. Okay. Take us a little back that up and not the final version. Um, another item that came up over, sorry, another item that came up um, over the lunch break was the uh, no hold for road to be included for talking about it and add to this here. Thanks. Um, and that's, um, I did touch, um, touch on it with Rick and Devin and Jennifer, but it didn't make it into the budget. Through the uh, Nobleford IDP, they had a request to, I believe, Rick, correct me if I'm wrong, joint paving, and they would pay half and the, account, and the county would pay half. And it's that road right there. So this request came in through the IDP process for Nobleford. Thanks, Great. Devin. Yeah, so, they requested for 400 meters of uh, joint paving project for that road. Um, although much smaller scale, I would put it in the same realm as the Southeast Collector Road coming out of Colhurst, where it doesn't really benefit our residents at all to, to pave that, especially for that short of a section. It doesn't even reach one of our residents. It's all. Um, Anyway, yeah. What is this here? So the pavement. Pavement starts where the hand is, or would start where the hand is? Yeah. And go 400 meters to that approach. Clause. Thank you, Mr. <clears throat> that That is basically where that's where the, the, the new truck wash is and stuff like that. Is that correct, Rick? Yeah. I, I don't know that area very well. Steve would probably have the best idea so of what that is. Would that be in the county, or would that is that a part of the uh, town town of Alford? The road is a county road. Yeah. And, and it, county crews do work on that quite often, putting dust control on. And yeah, it's good for a month or two, <clears throat> but after that, it's it, it's a mess. It's always potholes and water sitting on and. When you have a willing partner to do to do a project, I think that's important that we would look at it. So are they looking at doing this for 2018, 19? Yeah. And do we have any idea of the cost? It's about uh, paving with a full rebuild. We're averaging about, uh, say, $1,000 a meter. So 400 meters, 400,000. And that's uh, not including any drainage work that has to be done. Bob, Bob. Okay, so how much is Noble Fruit willing to pay on or help us? Half. 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 Okay. Claus? Ken? Yeah, is that, so is that the county car wash? Or is that the So is, is in the corner just under or above 11, is that the lagoon system? For local party, yes. Okay. Or a little farther north. That's a drainage. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, we do have, with the canceling of the uh, nine four, we do have available MF MSI if you would like to allocate that to, to that project. I would want to put an upset limit of probably five hundred thousand. 50-50, so our share would be 250, and if we approved it today, it would be on an upset limit of a total. Anything over and above that would be their responsibility, including engineering. <coughs> so is everybody agreeable to that? Mars, the full project. Yeah, okay, Mr. Chairman, just a second. Work. 
Why is that? But anyway, yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, so, Rick, uh, why do you come up with that philosophy? Uh, philosophy. We figured it was about 400000 and you want to set the limit at 500000 Why would you want to do that? I would go the other way. Put a limit at 250 Well, because we, we don't want to cancel the project before it starts. If the engineering study comes in, we don't even have preliminary engineering done. Usually at this point in time, Devin and I would have either analyzed the project or we would have preliminary engineering done the year before with some fairly solid numbers. We we don't know, we haven't even, like I haven't even driven out there and looked at that road. So I, I would say if we were to put it in for approval, uh, we'd be looking at probably a month or six weeks to get Geotech on there at minimum, or probably a month to two months before we can get decent numbers. So to approve an upset limit gives us the ability to proceed with the project if we want to, or if, or if we have to, without coming back for approvals. Oz? Yeah, thank you. Uh, and that would also probably include that the extra cost and stuff like that that you were anticipating with culverts and stuff like that too, probably, right? We, we would only do the amount of work that has to be done. And because we haven't looked at drainage works or anything like that, if there was additional work over and above <clears throat> the 250, including engineering and geotech, then it, we would say in the agreement with Nobleford, that would be on their, on their dime. Mark. Right. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any other comments? Otherwise, I'm going to say that was it. Okay. Okay, so we will add that back in then. Um, are, we, are we live on there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I got another comment I don't want to make. <laughs> <laughs> so that, um, because it's grant funded, has no impact on, yes. on the bottom line. So, to my knowledge, I think we've dealt with all the parking lot items. Um, I have removed, oh, I'll drag this back up here. Yeah, a little tiny, tiny print. Um, we have removed the, uh, the CPO initiative, the third CPO initiative, uh, bringing that down to a negative 33,705 as the budget decreased from last year for 0.226. That brings us to uh, right here, point negative point two two six for the for the impact for 2019 with an estimated impact of negative just over one percent for aftergrowth. One what? One point one percent negative aftergrowth. Okay, does yeah. anybody have anything that they were thinking outside of what we discussed or parts of what you did, Tori? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just one question. Um, so with, with the, what we've just discussed, um, if we're taking out uh, roughly 1.3 uh, MSI, uh, say if we take, like Rick said, an uh, offset limit of 500, so 250, um, if we're 1.1 1 .1 in unused MSI, is there either um, something that's tax supported that that then could go towards or just hold that in and use down the road, I guess, would be my question. So I have a partial for that is that some of that, um, because of that increased transfer from the business tax to the operating to cover that adventure payment, so that's now short of the bridges down to about 750, yes? Right around there, 760. So, if we wanted to um, maintain that at the $1 million mark for bridges, which is what we had factored in, we'd have to take that from MSI or could take it from MSI. And then Rick can add to this. Well, that's, just, that's assuming that the bridge project we yeah. identify comes in at over 750. But it's an unknown. We would have unallocated MSI mm -hmm. in the amount of a million dollars. We could bump up. There's several options if we wanted to take. Uh, we could bump up the five-year plan for Shaughnessy phases. We could, um, several of those options are out there if we wanted to move up. 
what we don't want to do is leave too much unallocated MSI and lose it. So if it would take us, uh, Devin and Jen and I, to sit down for an hour or so to go through those numbers and come up with a new five-year plan. Well, and, and what we could do is, because we are scheduled to come back next week, Monday, Tuesday, which I, we won't need both days unless, I don't know, further discussion is, but um, we could, without adding new projects, look at reallocating, like he says, bumping some projects up to make sure that we're allocating the full MSI allocation, um, and then we can represent that to you I, on Monday. Well, or fairly easily, if you guys are wanting something, if we went if we went away while you guys did your typical deliberation on your own, we could probably devise something for capital that makes sense very quickly. I mean, we've juggled those numbers to, to stretch it to five years. We could probably bring it back in line. Um, although it, all it does is bump the 1.3 to the following year, right? Yeah. So, there was the 2020 rave uh, upgrades that were unfunded that could be boosted up, but no, we don't, we can't because we have no sewer line. Okay. And we're waiting on the province to see if we, we're going to get a trunk line to Cold Hill. Okay, that was part of the, okay, thank you. Yeah, so that's that's permanently on hold until something comes because we can't pay the off site levies to go to the city. It just it wouldn't be feasible. Do you have another bridge file you could move up? You could have a look at We, we don't have the level ones in yet to determine the next bridge. Okay. So those number, those results will be coming in a month or so, maybe. Maybe. But as, the, as that would be grant projects, I mean, that is something we could bring forward throughout the year too, right? As projects come up, knowing that, I mean, that's, <coughs> Can yeah. always be done at a later time. Yeah, there's, we will never let the MSI go unspent. So yeah. we'll bring a project for you if there is something coming down. We'll, and we always have Shaughnessy phases on the, on the books. We've got paving jobs we want to do. Um, as long as there's no counselors that live on that road, then we'll bring it forward. <laughs> I can't. I can't say what I think. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I, I think I don't know if we have to put it, the MSI all in here. If you can, if, if you can wait for um, a month and figure out what's going on and stuff like that, but. I understand that we got to spend most of that. So. The only concern I have is uh, after listening to both the Premier and the Minister of Municipal Affairs, um, of course, we don't know who's going to get elected in, in Mark May, but uh, I'm, I'm a little leery about where our funding for the future funding it's going to kind of come from after listening to those people. You mean replacing MSI? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the better, or the more we could kind of get accomplished, the better off we'd be. Yeah. It's always your seat. So I, I have a question. The, what's um, when you said the condition one assessments for the bridges will take about a month, or is that what um, are they being done in house? Or is yeah. Um, the level ones are being completed by a, a consultant right now, and from those level ones determines what level twos are required. So they're in the process of doing the level ones right now. Some will be done this fall, some will be done in the spring. From there, level twos will be generated, and that will really paint a picture on what the bridge condition is really like and when it needs to be replaced. But I guess my question was if there was some MSI funding, once this is done, we'll have one that's more high priority than the arrest, correct? Yeah, we'll have a much better idea, I think, uh, early next year. Early January, February? Could be, yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, just another thought is we could always reallocate some of the other, um, say the ones that are FGTF funded, we could we could uh, use MSI dollars instead of FGTF and leave the gas tax money for a different project later on. 
so we can allocate reallocate the funding within to make sure we're using MSI before we're using some of the other programs because as far as I know gas tax isn't going anywhere. No, that's a good point too, and there's that carryover that you can do with gas tax, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, so did you want us to leave you or do you want further discussion? Or? Well, I was just gonna ask if there was anything further you wanted to talk about with everybody here, or do we just wanna talk amongst ourselves for a few minutes? See where we go. Okay, well, I'll leave you with this spreadsheet. Um, and as I have made some modifications for that CPO line, I haven't done anything with 2021, so these are, this one here is just showing a little bit high because I probably have to pull that 110 out all the way across. Um, but this is the only number we're approving anyways at the, not today, but. So if you just want to stay focused on this line here, this column, and just this would probably be right in line with what it was before, probably right around that one and a half. Um, keeping in mind that that does include the 2% for COLA, so that, depending on where that comes in, um, just getting an estimate of 2% is around, I'm going to say around 150000 is what 2% equates to, roughly, um, somewhere in that ballpark. So if it was zero, be about... If they get you correct, 2% is about 150000 in the budget. On the wages, yeah. Just well, on the wages. Just on the wages, Not yeah. On Not on the COLA, just just on the wages part. Okay. So depending on what that contract comes in at, you kind of play with it a bit from there. Every 1% is about 75,000, so. Um, and then again, the emergency services is still in there at a full 100% position. So there's a little bit of wiggle room in there. Um, and we didn't discuss that grant, so I'm assuming the grant program, I'm assuming that you guys are good with the $100,000 amount for that community grant program. Um, there's about 30,000 if you wanted exactly zero, you could bump that to 130 to make it an exact zero budget. But you guys can play with that. In the material. It's in material <laughs> to, to the numbers. <laughs> can you go down the hair just to show the growth? Yes, yeah, sir. Growth. Is that? Uh, yep. Okay, fine. Good. Yeah. You don't need that top line to get to set 2019 tax okay, report. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So we off now. I just said to her, so wait till I get the thumbs up and let you know. We should be. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. <laughs> you sit here and talk, and you guys go watch it. <laughs>